back to White Mountains today. I've got Kendra Vino and Brittany from Vino's. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show. It's lovely to have you ladies here. Um, you guys are offering some really awesome stuff over, and you ha not just a butcher shop. So please explain, because I'm sure there's plenty of people watching that maybe haven't had a chance. You are a relatively new business. Uh, tell us about what you're offering over at yeah. Vino's. Thank you for having us. Yeah. We, um, we are actually very excited. So we decided to open a butcher shop. And we're very fortunate to also expand into Gourmet to Go. So mm -hmm. that allows us to have fresh items in our case all the time, which is really great. And it's just, people are busy. We want to give you time. So that's the thing everybody needs. So we make chicken pot pies, lasagnas, shepherd's pies, Indian chicken. I mean, pretty much anything you can think of we'll make in our shop in a really convenient way with really clean ingredients. Yeah. So we try to just keep it really healthy. And we even hide vegetables. So our iron meatballs, uh, my children love them. They're five and two. And they have kale and spinach Ooh. and carrots, celery, onion, apples, like all sorts of goodness. Uh, but really simple. Yeah. So that we just want to showcase. Yeah, yeah. We want to <laughs> showcase it. And we make everything in-house, even our mayonnaise. So it's a labor of love for our team. We have an incredible team that allows us to do that. And we have a wonderful uh, customer base as well. Everything we carry in our meat case is all natural, no hormones. Um, no antibiotics, free to roam, humanely harvested, so you can feel really good about the products um, yeah. that you're eating. And they're sourced locally, as local as we can get them yeah. for the volume that we do. Yeah, that's awesome. And you guys are right in Conway, where the old KFC building used to be, right? Your yeah, location? Yeah, that was a fun renovation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, oddly enough, I mean, there's a drive through and we're utilizing that piece now. You so go. you can actually call ahead, and uh, if you only have 30 minutes for lunch, you want hot soup, we serve hot soup every day. Uh, call ahead, we'll have it ready, drive through, pick it up. That's awesome. You got kids in the car, don't want to get out, want a chicken pot pie, call us. Uh, well, let us help you. We're trying to convenience it as quickly uh, as possible for people. That's awesome. Um, I can't wait to come check it out. And so, uh, and you said you have different sizes for different sized families, which I really love. So, you know, from single and in in individual people and couples to bigger families. Yeah. Everybody's busy. Yeah. Everybody wants more time. Yeah. So um, we found out pretty quickly that we needed to hit the demographics of couples and singles and, and parents. I mean, we're all busy and this is kind of the gift of time. Our team is taking the time to make beautiful products so that you can spend a little more time reading a book at night with your kid or having a glass of wine with your spouse or yeah. just enjoying a little bit of your life because yeah. there's a lot going on. Yeah. There is. Um, and so uh, you guys also have a special event happening right now for a special cause. So tell us a little bit more about that. So we are um, doing carving for a cause for a little girl named Charlotte. She um, was attacked by a dog when she was 11 months old. Mm -hmm. So um, if you bring your car pumpkin to Vino's, you can drop it off for $10. We're going to display it along 16 um, and all of the proceeds will go to the family. Oh, yes. That's such an amazing thing yes. to do. Such a sweet little girl. Oh. And so you, you did this last year as well for yes. Camden. Camden, Camden, Camden Bailey, Bailey. Correct. Bailey. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you had 89 pumpkins out there. Yes. So uh, let's, let's get, try to let's get try more. To over 100. Yeah, yeah. Let's like start building it up. Um, so that's a really awesome cause. And it seems like you guys are very community oriented and you're really trying to support the local economy, which I'm a big fan of myself. So that's awesome. We're all about small business yeah. and supporting it. If we can't do it within our shop, we use Riverstone Bakery, who does our desserts for us. Uh, Bavarian Chocolate House, I buy chocolates from him. Cool. White Mountain Winery, we sell their wine. Uh, it's important to us. We're from here. This yeah. is our home, and we want to give back. We're a brand new business, and we decided to do a big fundraiser, and I know that's probably not very typical, but um, it's important to us you know, that we're showcasing that because our community is supporting us, yeah. and we're grateful for them to give yeah. us that great first year. and. Now we're in our second year and we're just looking to grow even more. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, having a new business, it's it's a it's a it's a building process. I'm mm -hmm. very familiar with, and uh, and so I like to support all of those local businesses as well. And I know our community is very supportive of that. Um, and and then you always have you always have that the blend of the tourism and the locals. But it sounds like uh, for what you guys are offering, you really. I mean, I'm waiting to. I'm I'm excited to come in there now. Uh, we just moved into our own place, and like I was saying, we. We, uh, we could use some of that convenience. <laughs> I think everyone in the valley can, you know. For sure. <laughs> if you're not working, you're trying to go enjoy this beautiful place mm -hmm. we live in in your free time, you know. So Definitely. We actually target a lot of, like, gluten-free items, which oh, is yeah. very, like, popular right now. And even though we're a butcher shop, we have vegan items. We yes. have vegetables. We have ratatouille. We have vegetable lasagna. Like, we're... So, so much more dynamic than our sign says that we are yeah. and, and honestly didn't anticipate the, the type of items that people are asking us for and feel very lucky that we're able to do that and provide this great service and we support 
a ton of small farms. Like our ratatouille was made with all local vegetables and we'll sell through that, you know, probably for three months because yeah. we have a bunch of it. Yeah. But it's just really nice to see the way that it works within our community and just being able to help people wherever we can. Well, I'm already salivating, so you're doing your job. <laughs> <laughs> you're tempting me. Um, and so you've got, um, and then uh, the Apre Ski also. I know we're not quite there yet, but you have a little something for them as well. Yeah, we do a, a specialty cheese case, which is as many local cheeses Ooh. as possible, like New England based, and then charcuterie. Uh, which is very popular and we just want to streamline it, simplify it for people. Come in, you got two or four people, you want to have a glass of wine and a cheese board, we'll make it for you, yeah. like right on the spot. Give oh. us your budget and we'll make it work within your realm and your taste. And we're trying to just do more things like that that are a little more personalized, again, to save you time. Yeah. And I like that personalized approach, you know, because it, it's a very, um, when you come into a store like that, it's like that family friendly vibe that mm -hmm. like, you feel like you're walking into someone's kitchen at their house, you know, so I kind of, like, I'm like that's true. what I'm getting from you guys at least, so. It I'm always excited. smells amazing in our mm -hmm. store. People comment on that and everybody knows our team members. We have an amazing team. Oh. Like this would not be possible without the people that I get to, I get to work with every day. Yeah. Um, somebody like Brittany can, you know, tame me. I have big dreams and that <laughs> can be wild and, <laughs> She can take what I, you know, say and, and turn it into something amazing and help my whole team is. They're just, it's an experience for sure when you come to our store and, and I'm really proud of that. Extraordinary, legendary service. That's what oh, we want to offer. Good. And when the team gets along and it's like a family dynamic within the team, it really comes across to the customers, I feel like. Absolutely. As well. yeah, so We're very lucky. We are. And I, we care about them like family. Yeah. And I also am a firm believer that when you're making food, it should be made with love. And it sounds like that's what's happening because <laughs> yeah. it's about the energy you're putting into the food too, right? And so that's, you know. Well, it's a showcase of my life. I mean, it's the chicken curry my mom made for me growing up. Aww. It's the Indian chicken I had with my husband on our honeymoon. Aww. It's, you know, friends, recipes, and chefs that I've worked for. So, and then things we've developed just within our store together, you know, and each person has their own name on it, you know, or Aww. knows what part they played in it. And, it's awesome to share that. I mean, I, I think it's hard not to get passionate when yeah. you're sharing that because sitting down for a meal together with another person is an experience and, and we want to bring that experience back to people because yeah. it's, it's of great value. And then giving people that convenience of time back, then they can actually sit down and eat their meal and not be multitasking and not be, you know, and actually be present with their partner or even by themselves or with their family just to have a moment of you know, gratitude for the food that's in front of them that they're about to indulge. Because also it's about the energy that you're in when you're taking your food in, right? right. Like we don't digest, we don't just digest, digest food, we digest everything, mm -hmm. thought, energy, feeling. So it's all going in there together. Yeah, so that's very cool. Um, I'm just making sure we touched upon everything. Um, you got the hot soups, we got the appraised ski, we got the carving for a cause, um, the gnome hormone meat, um, and the local ingredients and you guys chicken pot pies mac and cheese lasagna spinach artichoke chips i mean come on <laughs> yeah <laughs> we've really simplified and, and you know found our market you're watching football on sunday we have wings we make yeah. all the marinades we use tuckerman's beer in our tuckerman's marinade we use moat beer in our moat steak oh tips which God. are very popular people love them sure. um but we're always finding avenues to add convenience we sell fully cooked ribs and it's just those little pieces and really if you want something or need something come in and see me yeah. i mean ask for me i'm there you know every day we're open seven days a week so come in and anyone on our team will be able to help you and, and that's kind of our goal is to to meet the needs of the customer and not you know try to make it a guessing game for us yeah, yeah. and so you're open seven days a week I, mean, I think you mentioned 10 to 6 uh sunday through thursday you're open till 7 10 to 7 on friday and then 9 to 7 on saturday correct yes okay. correct all right, and uh, yeah, everything sounds amazing. I can't wait to come. I'm gonna bring my fiance along and I'm gonna come check it out. Um, and I love that you're, even though, you, I think that's great that even though you're a butcher shop, you're still open to catering to vegans and vegetarians and gluten-free and all the different dietary restrictions and needs that are presenting themselves more so recently. So. It, was a, it was pretty easy for us to be able to accommodate those things. It just re you know required a couple of tweaks, but it's not, it's not changed the quality of our product or the right. taste and what we're doing. Yeah. Well, because vegetables are important no matter, <laughs> no matter if yeah. you're eating meat or not, right? Mm -hmm. So vegetables are vegetables. We've got lots of good local ones around here. For so sure. Yeah. All right. Well, very cool. It's been so awesome having you guys on Thank the you. show. I'm really excited to come check it out. Um, so, and, and what is your street address exactly? 715 White Mountain Highway. 715 White Mountain Highway. So right in Conway, New Hampshire, if you ever have gone by where the KFC used to be, 
Big renovation. I can't wait to check it out. Um, Vino's and uh, what's your full name there? Uh, Vino's Specialty Foods and Meats. Okay, Vino's Specialty mm -hmm. Foods and Meats. So make sure you check it out um, when you're in the area. If you're local, if you're if you haven't been there like me, definitely go give it a whirl. <laughs> and if you have been, you probably already know what these ladies are talking about. I can't wait to go try it out myself. Um, make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break.